And welcome back to Littles by Lyra. Today we're going to make some amazing nautical Christmas themed decorations. Or themed nautical Christmas decorations. Regardless, let's start with a sea glass Christmas tree. To begin, you're going to want the leftover sea glass from the wreath we made the other day. And you're going to want to grab a cone styrofoam from the Dollar Tree or from Walmart. Um... Uh, what you want to start with is your hot glue gun and you are going to start at the bottom and work your way up. Now you see here that I've got the uh, sea glass going around the bottom and in between each application of a sea glass piece of glass, I put it at the bottom of the styrofoam cone and then press the cone to the table to make sure that the cone sits flat because obviously when you set your Christmas tree down you don't want it to fall over. I know this is really hardcore uh, logic we're putting into play. <laughs> so once you get those going you're just going to go around slowly and work your way up towards the top and pretty much it's like uh, putting together a puzzle. You want to find pieces that will fit so that you uh, don't have a whole bunch of styrofoam showing through. Although it is white styrofoam, and since some of the sea glass from the Dollar Tree is actually white, it's not super noticeable. As I was going, if I had little pieces that weren't uh, covered completely, I just found little tiny uh, like shards and glued those into place. Sometimes I glued over the glass to make it... Um, a little more three-dimensional but as you can see here just working our way up and keep going until you get to the very top now once you get to the top you're going to notice that it is a flat piece of cone and that's not super inducive to conducive one of those words to the Christmas tree shape which is you know a cone triangle thing so what I did was I put the sea glass on there and taking a bag of seashells from the Dollar Tree, I pulled out one of the uh, cone-shaped seashells and hot glued it to the very top of the cone. Now this is going to give me that tree shape and because this is nautical, I'm going to use the little cone-shaped seashells throughout the majority of the top or let me rephrase i'm going to use them as little tiny decorations but that cone piece up at the top is what's going to really sell this as a christmas tree once i have the hot glued onto the top i just take a little bit more of the sea glass and glue it around to try and give it like a seamless look from the um, main body of the tree up to the top of the tree. Does anybody know what these seashells are called? Uh, they kind of look like miniature conch shells, but definitely with a triangular shape. I'm just, I don't know. If you do, please let me know down in the comments. As always, it is an allergy day, so any sniffles that you may hear, I do apologize ahead of time. I take my allergy medicine, it just doesn't work. Could you imagine how great I'd sound if I didn't take it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so anyway, as you see, I'm just working around the top to bring the sea glass up to the seashell. And here, I'm a little off, uh, uh, off camera, uh, gluing the little tiny triangle shaped seashells to the body but I'm just using them as like little ornaments and I think that you know it looks really sweet you put as many as you want or as many as you have onto the tree to give it that ornamented Christmas tree look now, when I finished with that, I wanted to take some pearls because, you know, pearls are nautical, and I'm going to use those as little ornaments too. In retrospect, you see here that I'm holding these little tiny pearls in my fingers and using the hot glue. Uh, if you want to save your fingers, put them on to like a, or into some tweezers or put the hot glue directly onto the tree and then put the pearl down lest you burn your fingers off. It wasn't pleasant. 
For those of you who are sharp and eagle-eyed, yes, I did have to end up switching out to a different hot glue gun because I ran out of mini glue sticks, so big old boy came into play. Next, we're going to make a Christmas tree ornament with a seashell. I took one of the flat, uh, maybe clam shells. I'm not sure. Guys, I don't know my seashells. I apologize. I know what a conch is, and that's about it. So it is what it is. I've got this little bag of uh, wood cut stars from the Dollar Tree also, and I am just making sure that it's going to fit inside my seashell. Now, taking a small cup, I just poured a little tiny bit of antiquing wax into it and a little bit of Mod Podge and a little bit of white uh, crystal and glitter from Walmart. A reason I did this was because glue doesn't seem to like to stick very well to uh, the antique wax. So I figured if I mixed the antique wax with the Mod Podge and then added the glitter, and then used it to cover over the star, which really the only reason I did it was to give my star a shiny appearance. You can never have too much glitter at Christmas. Okay, truth be told, you can never have too much glitter, but for my glitter haters out there, you can skip this step. However, the Mod Podge did adhere the glitter to the ornament, the uh, star, super well. So if you ever need to glue something onto antique wax in like, the aftermath of building something amazing or, you know, crafting something amazing, I recommend the mixing of the Mod Podge with the antiquing wax. So once I got the uh, Mod Podge antique wax glitter mixture stirred up and combined, I just took a tissue and uh, rubbed the mixture directly onto the front of the star. Obviously, I'm leaving the back open because I'm going to hot glue this wooden shape into the seashell. And um, the less things you have in the way of the hot glue adhering the wood to the shell, the better off you're going to be. Then I took a little bit of uh, jute cord from Dollar Tree and just made an overhand loop so I have a hanger. Taking my hot glue... I hot glued the cord to the back of the seashell and then just went through and wrapped around the top of the seashell where the little hinge piece of the shell is just under that so it had something so that my cord wouldn't slide off and just wrapped it around uh, I think about four times and then hot glued it into place when it was done. Now I've got the uh, sorry for all the jingle bells in the background. Lyra is saying hello to everyone. Um, I glued the jute cord onto the back and then glued the star to the inside. And if you want, when you're done, if the top of your star goes underneath the jute cord, put a little bit of hot glue up there just to try and secure it a little better. I'm not sure exactly what kind of glue is best to use for adhering wood to seashells but so far it hasn't fallen apart and it's a Christmas ornament it's not like it's going to get a lot of handling or wear and tear so I figure that that works out nicely. After I got the cord the way that I liked it and you know hot glued the end down to it I just took a, a lighter and burned off all the fuzzies onto the jute cord or off of the jute cord. Little tongue tied today, guys, I apologize. Maybe my allergy medicine is affecting my brain more hardcore than I thought. Um, you don't have to burn the fuzzies off of the cord if you like them or if you don't want to. I just do it to make it a cleaner, more streamlined look. Next, we're going to make an oyster shell with sand, pearls, and seashells within. So to begin, I grab that bag of seashells from the Dollar Tree and pull out one that's got a pretty nice sized cup at the base of it. 
and set that off to the side. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make sand at home if you don't have any uh, readily available. So you want to take some of the Walmart white glitter and pour it into the cup and add some Mod Podge to it and just stir it around. You can stop here if you'd like a white sand. However, I'm a Florida girl, well, originally, and so I wanted to have the brown sand. So taking just a little drop of territorial beige, I added that in as well and just stirred it up, adding more glitter until I got a sand consistency that I liked. Uh, when this dries, it's going to have the little bit of shimmer like real sand has because of the glitter, but it's also going to have that gritty feeling to it. So in my opinion, this looks fantastic. I kind of really, I'm, I'm super stoked guys. I'm just, I, I don't know what to say. I'm super stoked. So after I got my sand mixture completed, I just, uh, scooped it into the cup part of the seashell. And then I began adding pearls until I had as many as I wanted. I think I used six, but after I put more seashells and there was a little uh, nautical rock in there, just a pebble, I figured that would look cute too. So I put a couple seashells and the little nautical rock into the bottom with the pearls. And it gave me, you know, just a, a sweet little Christmas ornament for my nautical tree. Now, you can't really do the ornament if you don't have any way to secure it. So, what I did was took some jute twine, cut off a length, it was approximately five or six inches long, and knotted the ends, and I burned the fuzzies off. Then I took some fixed all adhesive, and on each side of the string where the knots are, I put a little bit of fix all and a little bit of hot glue to adhere it into place. And then I tried to center the ends of the cord so that, or onto the seashell, so that it looked like the cord was going through the seashell. I know that it, there are special drill bits for cutting through glass and ceramic. You can use those, but I don't have one and really didn't want to start destroying my seashells. So I figure the hot glue and the fix-all should make a fairly decent hanger for my Christmas ornament. What do you guys think? Finally, we're going to make a light up Christmas seashell ornament. To begin, I got one of those uh, light up ornaments from the Dollar Tree. It's the one coated in glitter. And I've got some creepy cloth left over from Halloween. So I pulled off uh, enough to cover the ornament itself and just wrapped it around making sure that, you know, the ornament was covered. To me, this kind of looks like the floating uh, sea balls they have where it's a, a glass ball coated with a uh, rope and they float in the water. I don't know what they're for. I just know they're pretty and I know it's in a lot of nautical decor. So that's what we're going for. After I got it to cover the outside of the ornament, I just cut the extra creepy cloth off and taking a bit of jute twine, I tied up around the neck of the ornament where the hanger is. You can see here that I just took the jute cord and wrapped it around the neck part and then double knotted it. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of hot glue to secure the ends of the cord to itself to you know give it the wrapped appearance and I will cut off any extra creepy cloth to make the ornament hanger more accessible to add more glue and jute around the top. Basically I'm just going to take the jute cord and continue wrapping around the ornament ball uh, hanger until all that silver is covered up. You can paint it ahead of time. However, 
uh, paint doesn't seem to like to stick to that super shiny, glossy, silver colored plastic. So this worked for me. A little out of frame here, guys. I do apologize. But hopefully you can get the gist of what I'm doing by what I'm saying. Now, before I went ahead and wrapped that hanger part, however, I did take a piece of the nautical cord and just put it through the hanger part so that there is an actual hanger attachment for the ornament. Uh, this particular ornament from the Dollar Tree does not have a hanger, so I just made one out of jute and it turned out really well. Of course, as I usually do, I took a lighter and burned off the fuzzies so that it was a more streamlined look after I cut the ends off of the knot. Oh, I also uh, took the knot and spun it down towards the bottom of the ornament so that it was just a uh, solid loop. There wasn't a, a knot in the way and just glued it into place. As I'm adding each new attachment, of the cord and the hot glue. I've been turning on the ornament just to make sure that I haven't actually glued the light turner honor part <laughs> into place. So just make sure that, you know, you're keeping your glue away from the spinning mechanism that allows you to turn the ornament's light on or off. Once that was complete, I went through that bag of Dollar Tree seashells and I started finding seashells that were more or less the same size and color to give the ornament kind of a seashell symmetry. Say that one five times fast. I dare ya. Anyway, um, all I did was take the parts that would touch the ornament itself and I glued a bead of hot glue on the top and the bottom of the seashell since, you know, they're kind of concave, convex. They're the ones that bubble out. I'm not sure which that word is. And just uh, glued it on until I had it covered with as many seashells as I wanted and as I liked. Seashells in and of themselves are not super heavy, so when all was said and done, this is not a very heavy ornament at all. And if you have a bunch of leftover seashells, you can always um, crush them up and put them into the little spots in between. But I like being able to see that little bit of glitter and that little bit of creepy cloth showing through. I think it gives it, you know, kind of a watery, Christmassy look, you know the glitter with the lights changing color underneath, you know, like fish are swimming around inside. Work with me, guys. I'm doing the best I can here. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I will be seeing you soon. Have a great week. Bye.